Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what's on my PC video. This video was suggested by It's Bella Plays. I really liked the idea. She left a comment on one of my videos and I really wanted to make it happen. Uh, she was curious about uh, what programs I use on my computer, how I organize my files to like be very clean and decluttered. So I'm doing that for you guys today. I'm pretty much just going to take you guys through my desktop and my file libraries and explain what programs I use, what I use them for, and how I organize my files. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright guys, so we are currently viewing my desktop and I'm gonna start off by going through all of the programs I keep on my desktop, which are my most frequently used programs. So first things first, I have Recycle Bin, which is basically where all your deleted files go. Uh, we have The Sims 3, which is of course a game. Uh, we have The Sims 4 Studio. We have Action. We have The Sims 4. We have S3PE. Uh, we have Audacity. We have VLC Media Player. We have Google Chrome. Wondershare Filmora. Minecraft. Roblox Studio. iTunes. Roblox Player, Origin, Driver Talent, Paint.net, uh, this is Blender, the complete name is Timmy's Minecraft Rig version 4, but Blender is kind of just the general name for this program. We have Steam, Sims 4 Tray Importer, Spotify, Skype, uh, this random file which I should probably delete, and then DX Story. So if you couldn't already tell uh, by the programs I basically use. I pretty much essentially just use my PC for well video games and video creating. I don't have a lot of video games because I literally play like two games. <laughs> the Sims, The Sims 3, The Sims 4, and then Minecraft. I occasionally do play uh, Steam games, which is why instead of putting like the shortcuts for specific Steam games on my desktop, I always have the shortcut to the Steam launcher so that it's an easier access to then find those games from there. I also do have Roblox. I have the Roblox Studio and then the Roblox Player. Player is what you use to actually play the game. Studio is like the designing part of like your character and such. Um, I played Roblox like a couple times so that's on my desktop as well. Origin is a program that launches my Origin games through Electronic Arts so um, I use Origin to access The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. But that's all pretty much the games I have on my computer. <laughs> um, I also do have programs that help assist the game. So for The Sims 4, you probably notice I have Sims 4 Studio and then Sims 4 Tray Importer. I use Sims 4 Studio to merge my Sims 4 package files. I recently began doing this and it's been very helpful <laughs> so I will link the tutorial I used do it because it makes your game run so much smoother especially if you have a lot of custom content uh, the Sims 4 tray importer this is what I use to link custom content if you want me to go more in depth about how I like merge and find custom content and delete it and such you guys can let me know let, let me know in a comment down below but this is sims 4 tray importer is really good for locating custom content uh, and then i do have one program that helps assist the sims 3 and it's called s3pe um otherwise known as sims 3 package editor this is what i use to merge my sims 3 package files uh, i haven't made a video on merging it because merging my cc because i've only recently started doing it but i'll go ahead and link that video of where I learned how to merge my Sims 3 CC. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out. So yeah, that is what those programs are. They basically help assist my video games. Now that's all pretty much in the gaming sort of category. Now I want to move on to my video making category. So the first things first, I have action. Action is what I use to record my YouTube videos. Uh, look if I can bring it up right now. Yeah, so this right here is what I use to record on my YouTube videos. Um, it's a great program. I, I love it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I make, I film my videos here. And you can even have an option to live stream with action, which I think is really cool. And uh, yeah, this program costs like $30, I'm pretty sure. And I will leave a link to it in the description. 
Another thing I use to make my YouTube videos is Audacity. Audacity is a program where you can record your voice, uh, record audio, and you can edit audio here as well. So for voiceovers, I use Audacity a lot. Um, and yeah, that's how I record my voiceovers. Pretty self-explanatory. Wondershare Filmora, that is the program I use to edit my YouTube videos. Yeah, I don't really want to go into in depth about how I edit, like that's a, that's a whole nother video for another time. If you guys are interested in seeing a, like how I make my YouTube videos video, that's a tongue twister, let me know. And then the final program I use to make my YouTube videos is Paint.net. Paint.net is a photo editing uh, program. It's, it's a lot like Photoshop. It's like a free version of Photoshop. So this is what I use to make all of my thumbnails. Another program I have on here that's also kind of meant for video making is DxTory. Now DxTory I've only used once. So yeah, I just got a trial of DxTory so I could try it out because I was looking for some other video recorder programs. Action's great and I really love it, but sometimes it has issues with recording certain types of games. Oh, and the final program I have to assist me with video making is Blender. This is Timmy's Minecraft Rig 4. This helps me make my Minecraft thumbnails specifically. This is what I use to like put my, my Minecraft person in a pose and you know, I take, I use this basically. I put my skin in and I put my Minecraft character in a pose and I use that for my thumbnail. So this also assists me with making my thumbnails. Uh, once again, I used a tutorial to figure out how to use this program, and I will link it in a card if I can find it. So those are pretty much all the programs I use to that fall under the gaming and the video creating categories. The other programs I have are kind of just like oddball programs that just help my computer run. So I have VLC Media Player, which is what I use to play my movies. Like if I have a movie that's on a CD and I want to pop it in my computer, I use this program just because... I like it better. <laughs> I don't know. I had some issue with some program that Windows came with and I just downloaded this because it was free and it was easy. I have driver talent, which I had an issue at some point with um, my hard drive and like my graphics card or something like that. So I installed this program and then it basically just, uh, no, it was my driver. So they basically just allowed me to just reinstall my driver for free. I did a lot of Googling and I found this and it was free. So I tested it out and it works. So my computer is fine now. <laughs> and then of course I just have, I have Skype, Spotify, and iTunes. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, when I have my iPhone or my iPad or whatever plugged in to my computer, I can access, you know, whatever I need to do through iTunes. Spotify, I use for music. And then Skype, I obviously use to talk to people. And then Google, which is my preferred internet browser. And then on the side here, I thought I would talk about, um, my sticky notes. I love to organize my desktop with sticky notes. If I have to do something or if I have like to write something down or jot down a number for something or for notes for a video, I will put a sticky note. A uh, sticky note comes with your PC. You literally just type in the search bar uh, sticky notes and they will come up like it's built into your PC. Uh, and you can change the color by pressing the dot 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 button and, you know, make it all sorts of fun colors. It's actually really pretty. I'm going to change it back to blue. Um, and these are all my notes that I've made. But yeah, that's basically what I store on my desktop. Now moving into my file explorer. All right, so I'm going to start with my this PC tab. Uh, so what I have currently on my drive, I guess this is what it would be called, is the majority of my programs pretty self-explanatory. This is my video recorder. I have all my videos in here. Going to documents. Uh, I have a lot of stuff in my documents. Um, first things first, I have Audacity, which Audacity is basically, I told you guys, it's to record narration. I basically have a bunch of my voiceovers here. Uh, this CC swap thing, this is what I use for my CC swap video, if you guys remember that. That's just kind of there. Um, I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I have my electronic arts folder, which is for, once again, the electronic arts games I have. I have gaming, which is, this is where I store all my gaming related things. But gaming is kind of like folders that I've just sort of separately created. So we have um, indie games, which I store a lot of my indie games that maybe aren't from Steam, but from like external websites. In Minecraft, I have all my Minecraft mods. So if they're not currently in my game, 
they're in here. My backups are in here also. My skin downloads. Plants vs. Zombies, this I got off Steam, or not Steam, off Origin. This is another game which I could put in Indie. I'm gonna just drag that in there. I have Telltale Games in here again, which I don't know why this is both in here and in my documents. And then I have The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. These two are files where folders where I store my custom content and like my backups. I made a video of how I organized my Sims 3 CC, so be sure to check that out. And then The Sims 4, I keep all my I keep the same things in here. So all my backups, all my mods, all my custom content, screenshots, I keep all of that in a separate file. So I can clean out my game and still have a lot of my files in one, you know, consistent space. That's what's in gaming. That's like probably the biggest way I organize my games is just having a gaming folder with a bunch of subfolders in my documents. Um, my next thing, this is like a project I had to do for school. After that, I have a, ti a folder titled school, which is basically just documents and stuff for school. My next thing is SD card, which is basically just like a bunch of footage I've taken with my camera. This is called setups and things that are probably important. This is stuff that was like in my documents, but I wasn't sure if I should delete it or not. So I just shoved them all in this folder. <laughs> We have The Sims 4 Studio. I have Telltale Games, which once again, this is also my gaming folder. I don't know why it's also here. I should probably like delete that or something. And then I also have Wondershare Filmora. Starburn. I have no idea what this is. So that is what is in my documents. Um, next, going on to my downloads. So I have logs. I don't know what that is. Um, but the main two things I use in here is music and video clips. So these are both for video editing as well. I download a lot of free music off the internet, so I basically keep a music folder in my downloads and with different genres of music, um, also including sound effects. Um, and then video clips are just video clips I've used in my YouTube videos. This is... <laughs> It's a mess of a stuff in here. That's all in my do my downloads. I always am cleaning out my downloads. So every once in a while, I'll just clean it out. It's so that I only really have what I need in my downloads folder. The next folder I want to go through is pictures. So I have background. Uh, I have stuff for my blog, which I kind of organize all in here. I have camera roll, which is empty. This is supposed to hook up to my i my iPhone, but my iCloud. But I don't know what happened there. Um, oh no, here are iCloud photos. Oh my god, I was looking for this folder! Oh, okay. I was like so random, but like I've been looking for my icons and banners folder. I didn't know where it went. Okay, y'all, I just found my icons and banners folder. It literally disappeared. So I have my icons and banners folder, which I store my icons and my banners for my channel. Uh, I have good pictures, which is like pictures that I've taken on my personal time, which I really like. Uh, I have a folder with my not so berry challenge photos, but like I stopped posting that. <laughs> I have my outro, which I used to do like these outros, these photo outros. Screenshots is screenshots. Um, I use a program called Lightshot to take my screenshots. So all those screenshots go into here. I have Sims, which are photos of my Sims either for thumbnails or for whatever, usually it's thumbnails. I always, I never like to delete my pictures of my Sims because I might use them in like another video that it's not very sim specific. So I have so many screenshots of my sims that I shove in here. I have video backgrounds, which these are backgrounds specifically for videos. Uh, I have video overlays, which these are photos that I've overlaid onto my various videos that I've just saved to my computer. And then finally, I have thumbnails, which is where I store all of my thumbnails. And then this thing right here, ignore that. And then last but not least, I have my videos folder. First things first, I have a video project I'm doing. It's basically like I'm recording a section, or like a few seconds of every day for the entire year of 2017, and then I'm putting it all into a video. So all my clips and stuff go in here. This is a folder for my school. This next folder is like old video stuff from like summer camps. I have personal projects, which is once again, personal videos I've made for myself. And I have unfinished projects, which these are unfinished projects from Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> and that just kind of just stayed here. Then I have a Wondershare Filmora folder. Um, this is like my old one. And then finally in my YouTube folder, I have all my YouTube stuff. So I have it all organized into various types of videos. So that is what is in my videos. And essentially, that is what's on my PC. Alrighty guys, so I hope you all learned a thing or two about how I organize my, my computer and how I utilize it. 
Um, if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on anything I talked about in this video, whether it be like a how I make my videos video or like how I organize my Sims 4 custom content video, you guys can let me know by leaving a comment down below. That rhymed. I love it when I just, just happen to be a poet. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I will see you guys in my very next video next time. See you all then. Bye guys.